We got spring fever and it is time to kick off those winter boots and slip into a some, uh, something a little more spring-like, a little more comfortable, Teresa. I think that's a good idea to help us find the best spring shoe styles. We're joined by a gentleman who is just named Social Media Star. Wow. I like that. By Boston Spear Magazine. We are talking about our buddy Matthew Simcoe. Great to have you back here on the show. Good morning, guys. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So, uh, men should really change their shoes with the seasons, right? I think everyone should change their shoes with the season. <laughs> think we've been in boots all winter yeah. long, right? Laced up tight and, you know, with, with socks on. They so smell. Uh, they, they do smell and, you know, they're, they're out, wet then. from <laughs> the snow. Start, start over next year. <laughs> so that's why I think we should switch to some lighter shoes to go throughout the spring. So let's start over here. You have a cool tip for uh, the leather laces. I do. So a lot of times in the spring we're wearing loafers, boat shoes, moccasins. These, these are double-soled leather moccasins even the bottom is leather on those. So when you tie the laces to make sure that they don't fall out, wet them where that bow is going to be and then let it dry oh. and it'll shrink up ever so slightly and the bow will stay all the time. I love good that little tip idea. There. Well, you it's don't, a great well, one. Because these are slip-ons, so you don't need to tie them every exactly. time, Exactly. Right? I love a good slip-on shoe. As you can see, laces are not, are not <laughs> my deal, so we keep those to a minimum. These are really great perforated leather we're seeing a lot of for spring as well. Uh, and while they aren't perforated all the way through, which is really good, it just mm -hmm. gives that idea of it on the top. Mm -hmm. And this is, you guys know about espadrilles, right? When they have like the braiding and the rope around the sole. Yes. Oh, kidding me. I'm, <laughs> like, I, well, I, I see that on women's shoes. So typically. on men's shoes, remember those charity shoes everyone was wearing? Uh, where they, like, like Tom's, oh, remember sure, those, right? Sure, yeah. So those are espadrilles for men. So this gives the idea of it with the braided edge without actually having that rope like, around the bottom. A little more support, too, I feel exactly. like. Exactly. Right? feel how lightweight those are. Those are great for spring, too. So you're, <laughs> <laughs> so you're not clopping around. Multiple uses, right? Multiple uses, yeah, really anything you want. And sneakers, right? Right? Um, a lot of times, like I said, we think of loafers nice. and boat shoes, but a good pair of sneakers are great, and when they're slip-on, you can wear them with shorts. And these are great. These are actually, uh, Vionic does an orthotic heel in there, and they don't look like sort of a comfort shoe, yeah. <laughs> but they are. They've got the herringbone pattern, and that touch of orange, I think, is great for spring. It reminds us that warm weather's here. I love well, it. Well, that's what we were talking about, how, how most of the time all the stylish shoes are not the most comfortable, so it's nice that you brought some here. Really, there. this end of the table are all really comfortable shoes. That's terrific. Including these, uh, these spare this is their first new line in almost like a hundred years. Typical uh, for boat shoes, right, is what we're seeing on the top. But they put this really cool sole on the bottom so it wears like a sneaker. I actually wore these uh, on Friday to give them a test run. Super comfortable. Do you, do you like the look though? Uh, you know what? The look really grew on me. Yeah. I think that it's like kind of like a tech hybrid. It's kind of like a mix of old and new. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wore them. I got some good feedback on those. Dante has his first pair of Sperry's, courtesy of Ann Craig. I love them this weekend. Oh, over that's Easter. nice. So it must cute. be nice to be Dante. You know? <laughs> Kid gets saying. everything in the world. What? Not <laughs> too bad to be Dante in the world, right? Um, and then if you're going to do a lace up, this is a little bit more of a dressy shoe. Hush Puppies are one of my favorite brands of shoes. Uh, over the years, you know, they've gotten a lot more stylish, a lot better. They're really, really comfortable, and this is water resistant suede. Oh, that's great. Who even knew that that's was a thing? Right? That's fantastic. Especially on a day like today, yeah, yeah. these will they'll pull right up, um, bead right up on there, and you won't have to worry about ruining them. So, what kind of pants would you recommend wearing? With those. Uh, I think jeans with with everything, but these are kind of almost like an 80s throwback. My dad always wore like a new buck with that kind of pink sole. Rem remember those were a big deal. So you could do this with like a, a navy, maybe chino, or a pair of denim, lighter denim, maybe cuffed up a little bit. Cool. I think you can show a little bit of ankle in the spring. Right. Got it. Last and you need socks with those last pair? Don't wear socks Ooh. with no the driving socks. mock. So these are driving moccasins. Again, the pop of orange. We're seeing that cool. orange in there, and the the rounded edge here. That's that's indicative, sort of, of a driving moccasin. And it's just that idea of pivoting the foot to the gas in the brake. Very good. Matthew, well, thank so you so much for joining here. us. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Check them out. Instagram, Twitter, at Simcoe Says. Snapchat. Right? Snapchat, too. Simcoe Says. Check them out. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.